Good morning, everybody. I just thought I would pop on real quick and show you. Um, I'm working on my green boho dresser here. So, and I am now incorporating some more metallics. So I thought I would come on and show you guys um, that metallics are really good for blending. And metallics are also really good for doing uh, dry brushing. So this is my green boho one. And I am adding some metallics and I'm sitting here by my purple one to show you um, different ways of using metallic paints. So I've got a whole video on YouTube of um, working with metallic paints and all the um, ways of working with them and what you should seal with them and all that and what you should put underneath metallic paints. So I thought I would just come on and add how to, uh, another way you can use metallics is instead of painting an entire piece with metallic paint is just incorporate metallics by dry brushing or by blending. So you can see here, hopefully you can see how I have added, um, I've added blue metallic paint in a blending method. So the paint I used is Annie Sloan, it's a dark green. And so hopefully you can see that I have added the t all the dark touches here of blue, that's all um, this metallic paint, Modern Masters Metallic. And so metallic paint is amazing for doing blending and for adding it in that method. So hopefully you guys can see uh, the light. Hello, Helena, in, let's see, you're in Ireland, right? Got some people all over, Scotland, Wales, Ireland. So this is another way to add, um, to use metallics is blending and I am going to show you guys so right here too is another way to add um, metallics is by doing it as a last touch so I'm just going to add a little bit more I need a little bit more blue here on my side I've got the blue all over the front of the dresser yes Northern Ireland okay I thought it was Ireland so I'm just going to incorporate some blue metallic because I need it right here on the sides and that's what I am doing now is adding a little bit of blue and once I'm off camera I'll take out my drawers and finish it. So I'm just going to blend two colors together. Now, typically when you are using metallics, if you're painting an entire piece with a metallic paint, I recommend sealing it with this sealer here. It is for metallic paints by Modern Masters. So it's specifically for metallics. But if you're just using metallics as um, touch-ups, like just incorporating it, you don't have to use that. But I do use the other Modern Masters uh, top coat. I stay within the same company. If I'm using Modern Masters, then I will use a Modern Masters top coat. But since I'm just adding metallics as touch-ups, um, I don't have to seal it with an entire metallic paint sealer. Now, where is my little blue? I think I'm going to use, this is just a cheap uh, chippy brush, and I'm just going to add just a pinch of my metallic paint, and you'll see, you just need a pinch and you'll see how um, fun it is to add this in. Now, typically I want to, you know, do this without my drawers in, but I wanted to show you guys um, what this whole thing looks like. So, because I have to go in still and do all the inside parts there. So normally you want to do this without the drawers in. So metallic paint is amazing for, hi Lori, metallic paint is amazing for blending you guys. If you can see hopefully what's happening here, that is the metallics that I um, and add, am adding to chalk paint. So it's another really um, great way to use that type of paint. 
because it gives you just a hint of shimmer, which is always good, right? To have shimmer. So you can see how it's all, can you see how it's all blending together here? 1240 AM here. Oh, wow. Yes, go to sleep and watch later. <laughs> So it's blending, look how nicely it all blends together. And if you need a little bit more green, then you grab your green and you just add some more green in. And when blending, you wanna make sure you have your water. Good morning, Lori. Make sure you have your water because that's really important for doing the blending. So I'm love, hopefully you guys can see, I'm loving right here. Let me try and get the camera. Let me try and get the camera a little bit closer. Can you see here what's happening with the blending? The blue and green are coming together. And let me try and get, see how it's really pretty, the blue and green together? So blending is a ton of fun. And so I just wanted to tell you guys that um, it's a great way to Another way to use the metallics is blending. I need a touch more green right here. So I'm gonna blend in a little bit more of my chalk paint. And have something you can dab your brush on too. How did you get the transfer into those inserted panels? That couldn't have been easy. I'm going to tell you the trick. There is a trick to doing this. And because I'm such a sharing person and I love teaching I'm gonna tell you guys the trick let me grab my paper where'd my paper go this is the trick Lori that green is beautiful and the blue sets it off lovely thanks thanks so much this is the trick Lori for getting uh, was it Lori Lisa and Lori okay this is the trick you guys um, you need a template that's all you need you guys all you let me back up the camera so all you need you guys is you need to just grab your temp, uh, make a template and that's how you get inside uh areas like this is you get your it this is just an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper and i placed the top here right and so the bottom came down and i took my finger and i went like this right so then I had the crease, right, of where to cut, right? Took it off, and then there you go. That's the size you need. It's easy peasy. So then I just did that. I think I needed two and a half to cover this area here. And so this is one of the boho transfers. It's called patchwork. That's all you do, you guys. Same thing up here. Take your piece of paper, I cut it in half, and then same thing, you just stick it up there, you press with your finger, and it gives you a template. And that is often how I do um, areas like this. So that's it, it's super, super easy. So anyways, let's see, did I do enough? I think I have enough green here. Let me add just a tad bit more water. Any more questions? Yes, I am so smart, aren't I? Just let me know. And can you see how the blue is kind of dripping down a little bit here? You're welcome. I'm gonna add just a pinch more blue right here. All you need is just a pinch. So that, the, I just wanted to tell you guys, metallics are amazing for um, adding, like blending, when you're doing Bermuda blending, which is kind of what this is. Let me try and get the camera a little bit closer. Um, I hope you can see all, see? the blue and the green. 
And right here too, you guys, see this right here on the purple dresser? Um, this, this is gold metallic paint that I've put here on this purple dresser. And it is incredible for doing last minute touch-ups too. So this is with the, this is the spatula painting and you can add metallic um, touch-ups at the very end with using your um, spatula. So that's what this is and it is amazing for that. But because this is blending and this is touch-ups, I don't have to seal the entire thing with a metallic top coat. If you're doing it, remember, if you're doing your whole piece of metallics, you should use the metallic top coat. Uh, so I'm just going to seal it all with my one of my favorite top coats, with it, which is Dead Flat Varnish, by the same company of the metallic paints. If you can stay within the same company, it's always good to do that. Now I'm going to just come in here and I'm going to dab some blue, uh, a little bit more blue here before I do all my waxes. But I only want a tiny, tiny bit. So I'm just going to go like this. You just rub along the edges and that adds some more uh, metallics too. And then right at the very edge of the squares, I'm also going to add the metallics. And this gives the drawer a really beautiful shimmer. Can you see? See, it just adds some really pretty shimmer. All you need is just a pinch, pinch, pinch. I am going to come in though with, um, I've got three or four different waxes I'm going to use. I'm going to use, um, I'm going to put it on with my finger. I'm going to use, I think this blue, because it's going to go right. And I'm going to add that. And I probably will add purple, because there's quite a bit of purple in this, which is this one. So I'm going to add that. And I am going to add this amazing green. So I'm going to also add that and then I probably will add a last metallic with my Shiva sticks, which I'm probably going to bring out the gold one. So all of those in my membership group um, get to follow along with me and see how I do everything. You guys just get to see highlights. Uh, no, I don't know. Well, maybe I'll use gold, either gold or the copper. I'm not sure yet, but I will use that. Um, this is an oil pen. So I will use that. That's the very last thing you do um, after I seal. So once I seal everything, top coat, I'm going to come back with my oil pen and I will uh, add the last touch of oil wax with the shiva sticks. So I'm just going to go down here just a little bit, a little bit right here. You only want to work a teeny bit at a time. You don't want to, you want to make sure you have just a teeny bit on your brush. Can you guys see? See, just a teeny bit on your brush. But I love this green and the blue together are just really pretty and that's why it's so fun working with metallics because it adds just that right amount of shimmer to your furniture can you see what's happening right here you guys look at this gorgeous look at the gorgeousness here see all this in some areas it looks almost turquoise because that are this is what you do to get a gorgeous turquoise is you mix these together. So I need a little bit more blue. I'm just going to go along the edges.
And I actually also have, um, I also have a metallic green Modern Masters, one of their greens in here too, which is giving, e it's giving even more shimmer. Thank you. It's hard to see underneath here. I think I'm doing it right. And you don't want uh, you don't want perfection when you're working with when you're creating boho. You don't want perfection. At least that's what I think. Okay, I'm gonna scoot you guys down. I'll take the camera off when I'm done and show you guys. Good morning, Rebecca. Show you guys the close-ups of um, what it looks like. This one looks really good here with the shimmer. Can you see the shimmer green? The shimmer green is showing well on this drawer. Sometimes they all look a little bit different, but that's okay when you're doing a boho right you don't want um i think i'm just going to come in right now it just hit me i'm going to do a little bit more uh dry brushing right here in the middle oh yeah that looks way better now let me back up a little bit i like that i like adding it to the middle here And just look at that shimmer. So let's do a little bit more. Let's do a little bit more blue here. And then if you need to, you can always add a little bit more green. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go down a little bit now. I just wanted to tell you guys too. So right here, I know, doesn't that make a difference? Uh, right here, if your transfers start peeling a little bit, which sometimes I was having that with this one. I don't know why they do that because, um, you know, I always wait. You want to make sure you don't put a transfer on fresh paint. And I always wait a day, 24 hours to 48 hours before I put a transfer on. But for some reason, it was peeling down up here, and I just saw now. Did you guys see that? It was peeling up from the bottom down here. So if your transfers are doing that, all you have to do is go get some Mod Podge and bring in just a pinch of Mod Podge, right? And then you push down where it's peeling up. That's all you have to do. So there you go. There's another little good tip is grab your Mod Podge and that will work you guys to put down your transfer. Oh, I think I missed right here. This blue metallic is gorgeous. Let's see, what's this one called? 
This one is called Venetian Blue. And this is one of the um, opaque ones. Do you put some kind of sealant on those when you finish with the whole chest? Uh, yep, that's what I, you missed that part. So normally, um, if you saw my video on YouTube with the metallic, I have a whole video on YouTube all about working with metallic paints. But normally if you're doing it all metallics, you want to make sure you top coat with a metallic top coat, which is, this is Modern Masters. It's called Master Clear for Metallic Paint. See, I know it's backwards. But since I'm only just adding little bits of metallics, I'm just going to go ahead and seal it. You can seal it with Annie Sloan Wax, but I'm going to seal it with this one, Modern Masters Dead Flat Varnish, because um, it's staying within the same company. And this is one of my go-to top coats is this one. Other than the wax, that's the one I uh, use the most. I don't think I put any blue on the edges here. So, and the sides look really cool. I did a drip on the sides. Um, so the sides has some uh, metallics dripping down. But I'll show, uh, Rebecca, I'll show you guys a little bit later what I did with the sides. Rebecca's in my group. I'll show you guys what I did with the sides. And I added some of this blue here. I put script and foil, and then right above that, I put some metallic paint, and I have it dripping down a little bit. So just a little bit of this, and then, um, I'm, oh, I forgot to do the sides. I'm going to, um, I gotta do this one, one little edge over here. Let me just do the one edge here. I've got to copy the other side. Okay, let's see. I did my green first. Where's my green brush? I think it's this one. I'm just going to add just a pinch of uh, the blue. You just need a pinch. You don't need a whole ton. And the water, of course, you got to have water, right, when you're doing your blending. See how well these colors, they just blend so well together. And it just gives you that little bit of extra when you use the metallics. Now I need to add in a little bit more green. And then on the other side, I added um, some blue and then I sprayed. So that means I have to do that on this side too. Because we want it to be even. As much as possible even. And now I'm going to come in with the blue and then I'm going to spray it like I did the other side. I just want to do a dab. I don't want to do a lot of drips. I just want to do a tiny bit.
you guys see you might not be able to see the light now is bad in here so it's dripping down just a tiny bit so there we go and then I'm going to come back up here because it looks like I forgot to do this and I'm just going to add a tiny bit of metallics up there There we go. Let me see if I can uh, move the camera. Oh, I have to do the bottom still. I know, I think the camera's about to die. So let me just see if I can move the camera and show you guys. Um, see if I can get better angles here of the... So that's where I did the drips, remember? So look how pretty that green and blue is together, you guys. Just gorgeous. So it blends so pretty. There we go. That is the blending of the green of chalk paint with metallics. And this is the uh, gold metallic paint that I did on the purple dresser that is for sale. That's also a different way to use metallics. So lots of fun using metallics. Hopefully you guys incorporate it into something you're doing. And thanks for joining me.